Recent advances in polymer technology has enabled the development of a groundbreaking alternative to traditional supply pipe leakage repairs and reductions called the AquaP. This is a pea-sized product made from specially formulated materials with a buoyant center, which allows the AquaP to free swim inside a pipeline and in most cases repair leaks without unnecessary costs of excavations and with very little impact on the customers and environment. The WRES approved AquaP is capable of repairing leaks in various pipe materials and sizes and is currently being used to solve leaks worldwide. Before launching the AquaP, it must first be prepared. Firstly, remove the outer packaging by turning the clear blister side upside down and peeling off the back of the card. Take the grey polymer and knead it for 30 seconds, continually using a flatten and fold motion. With the polymer left flattened, take the polypropylene core and place it into the center, then wrap the polymer around the core evenly, rolling the polymer into a P shape. The aqua P has now been formed and is ready to enter into the leaking pipe. Firstly, close the internal stop tap and calculate the amount of water escaping from the system by monitoring the water meter for one minute to quantify the volume of leakage and determine the correct sized aquapee to use. Then, turn off the water supply at the external meter chamber. Remove the water meter and non-return valve. Mix and prepare the aquapee as explained and place it into the system. Refit the non-return valve and water meter. Turn on the external water supply at the water meter chamber, allowing the aquapee to free swim to the leak, drawn by the flow of escaping water. By monitoring the water meter, which will indicate any changes, once the aquapee has reduced or repaired the leak, allow 15 minutes for the aquapee to cure. The water meter must be monitored from turning on the water supply following aquapy insertion to the end of the curing time. This is your window to see how the aquapy performs. Open the internal stop tap and turn the water supply back on. Flush water through the system from a tap for two minutes. And finally, check the water meter for any continuing water loss. This process can be repeated if the leak volume is still above 4 litres per minute, but we advise not to enter any more than 3 aquapees. The quality of the pipe must now be considered. If the aquapee has been unsuccessful with the first attempt, it is okay to upgrade to the next sized aquapee and make a second attempt. On average, it takes 1.5 aquapees to fix a leak, 